you thinking of making a move to the Badger State? Whether you grew up in the Midwest or you're moving to the region for the first time, Wisconsin is a great place to live, but it's not for everybody. Here are five things you need to know about living in Wisconsin before you make the move here. As a lifelong Wisconsin resident, I've lived in various parts of the state, and I know a thing or two when it comes to Wisconsin culture. Wisconsin culture is heavily influenced by German and Scandinavian countries, giving it some awesome food and drink options. Things like Kringle, beer cheese soup, brats, supper clubs, and of course cheese curds are all amazing staples and cuisine options within the culture of Wisconsin. For those that are not aware, Spotted Cow is the state's best craft selling beer, and it's got won numerous awards and the best part is you can only get it in Wisconsin and it's even better on tap. And you will not find another state that does dairy related food better than Wisconsin. I mean, after all, we are the dairy state. Sorry, California. Now we can't talk about Wisconsin without mentioning the winters. Are they really that bad? Well, depends on who you ask. For me, I don't think they're that bad. I actually think we've had pretty mild winters lately. We've recently gotten snowfall pretty late in the year, sometimes even after Christmas. And we've had numerous days in the winter these past couple years that have broke 50 degrees, which is unheard of. According to worldpopulationreview.com, we're behind states like Michigan, Minnesota, Utah, and West Virginia for the annual snowfall totals. That puts us at 12th in the union. Now, if it's a windy and cold winter day, those days obviously suck, but generally speaking in the southern part of the state, our winters stay relatively mild for Wisconsin standards. Um, the more north you go, that's where you'll start seeing snowfalls in like late parts of April, even in early May, they're getting hit with snowstorms. Invest in a good winter coat, a snowblower, and find a fun wintertime activity that will make the winters go by much quicker. And speaking of wintertime activities in Wisconsin, snowmobiling draws a huge crowd way up in the northern parts. We also have tons of communities that offer skiing, snowboarding, ice skating, cross country skiing, you name it. And you could even try out curling, which is a big staple in Wisconsin, especially in the rural parts. Speaking of rural, Wisconsin is a pretty rural state. Our biggest city is Milwaukee with a population of just under 570,000. Other big cities in Wisconsin include Madison, which is where I live, Green Bay and Kenosha. Uh, Green Bay and Kenosha are still just around 100,000 people. Wisconsin doesn't really have too many major cities per se, but a lot of these communities that are under 100,000 people have plenty of good things to do or they're close to the big cities that we already mentioned. It's not uncommon in Wisconsin that a town of 10,000 or 5,000 people is actually the biggest city in the entire county that it's in. The most rural parts of the state are gonna be in the northern part of the state. Um, the majority of the population actually lives below this line right here. Um, just that's where the majority of the big cities are. So that makes most sense. Another thing to note about Wisconsin is that we have our own dialect. Now, many people here will tell you, oh, I don't have an accent. Well, they really do. They just don't wanna admit it. Things that are often said in the state are bubblers, stop and go lights. Oh, let me scoot right past you for the ranch. That's very common. Um, you betcha, things like that. And honestly, you'll probably start picking it up if you live here long enough. I could go on and on about all the terms and sayings that Wisconsin has, probably better suited for another video, but it's kind of funny, it's fun. We have a cool little dialect up here. Wisconsin also has strong ties to Native American culture, which can be often seen in its city names, such as Waukesha, Ashwaubenon, Kakana, Oconomowoc. You'll know if someone's from Wisconsin if they can just correctly pronounce these cities without batting an eye, they don't give it a second thought, and they're pronounced correctly. Wisconsin is also huge into hunting and fishing. Now, I don't hunt or fish myself, I used to fish, but um, it's kind of important to know the terminology because guarantee you'll be somewhere and you'll hear someone talking about um, that 20 point buck I shot up there in the Northwoods. And I don't hunt, like I said, but I do know um, what they're talking about. So you'll hear terms like that very often when you go out, especially during hunting season, which is a vacation in itself for many Wisconsinites. Last but not least, we need to talk about the sports. So Wisconsin has three pro sports, the Green Bay Packers, the Milwaukee Brewers, and the Milwaukee Bucks, and fans go absolutely crazy for them, especially the Green Bay Packers. They'll treat the athletes like royalty, and there's a sense of like small market teams, so they're really passionate about their teams, especially when it comes to the Green Bay Packers. 
I mean, maybe that's just me, but I feel like that's the big sport here. Don't get me wrong, they still love their Brewers and their Bucks. I still love those teams as well, but football is definitely premier in Wisconsin. Wisconsin people are generally nice and respectful. They'll hold the door open for you. They'll let you borrow their shovel or lawnmower. They'll cover your bill. I've seen that happen many times. They'll stop on the side of the road and change your tire. Unless you're a Bears fan, then that's hit or miss if they'll do that. Well, that's gonna do it all for this video. I'm sure I can make another part two to this video. There's so much to learn, so much to know about Wisconsin. Um, there's a reason why I'm still living here. I absolutely love it. Again, it's not for everybody, but I suggest just coming on out, exploring the different parts of the state, and really seeing if it's worth living here or if you can see yourself living here. And if you guys have any questions on what it's like living in Wisconsin or areas of Wisconsin, drop them in the comments below, or you can always message me on Instagram. I would love to answer any questions you guys have. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video.